What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. Talking about Halloween ends. Talking about Jeepers Creepers. More specifically Jeepers Creepers 5. Chucky Season 2 and Hellraiser. The new trailer and the uh, poster that came out. Now just to start off with Halloween ends. Halloween ends had a new featurette called The Final Reckoning. I believe that was released. It's like a nice collection of clips from the upcoming film. With Jamie Lee Curtis mostly on set. Hyping up how Michael and Laurie have been the heart and soul of the series since it since its birth in 1978 in that John Carpenter original classic. And she thinks this movie is very special to her. And hearing that from her, I can understand why. She does get a little bit emotional. It has made me very happy for her. Because despite any positive or negative review that comes from this movie, or despite any other things I disagree with her on, sometimes Jamie Lee Curtis and her contributions as an actress and to this franchise, she's des she des she's deserved, I would say, of a proper exit from Halloween and ends is more proper so far on the surface anyway, without even seeing it compared to what we already know happened with her exit from Resurrection, how she thought she was going to actually be killing Michael with H2O and find out about a contract. So, you know, I'm glad she's getting some type of satisfaction out of this. So there was a moment in this footage where it did look like Lori was contemplating suicide and I was like didn't we see a flash of this in halloween 2018 that might actually have been a deleted scene though to be honest uh anyway i'm thinking what happens to her that she might want to off herself like why does she think about shooting herself could this be related to Corey? and if so what did he do i'm going to do a separate video talking about the box office projections that are looking like they're going to be like 35 million or 45 million opening weekend sharing my thoughts on that and discussing Corey possibly saving himself by offering Lori to Michael. So if you haven't checked out that featurette, check it out because it's cool. And again, Jamie Lee does get a little emotional in there. So if, if you start to get a little emotional, it just goes to show you how much she has contributed to this franchise and how much her contributions mean to you. Because Lori Strode is again, one of the best final girls. So yes, yeah, saying goodbye to her might be very emotional, even though Halloween ends could be hit or miss. I think her scenes will be stuff that just at least make us feel something while watching it. So just to jump into Jeepers Creepers 5, Jeepers Creepers 5, you guys have already started up the talks of this. I'm getting messages from people and I'm already sitting in the comment section. You started up the talk about 5. Uh, some of us, we're still in recovery from last night <laughs> and we don't want to think about 5, in fact. However, today, as many of you may have already remembered, Myriad and Infinity, along with Screen Media, did have a court conference. So we'll see what the update was from that. Timo did put out a tweet also suggesting that there was more to come and yeah hopefully not with you in this janky execution what I do know about five is that um well honestly nothing because at least I don't think it's anything because it's so minor or what we know I did a video about this has a listing on its website but I I haven't checked to see if it's been removed or not recently there was a video I did a while back also revealing the bear trap that many of you did see in the movie last night uh, we saw it used in the movie last night and no one else shared that besides me because I got it from someone who was in contact with a crew member. Well, this same person claimed to me a while back that the fifth movie was in pre-production and I mentioned that in another video too. However, I don't think that they're going to be able to make one due to the lawsuit that again alleged that four was shot and produced then sold to Screen Media when it should not have been done in this manner. So if the allegations proved true in court, then that certainly will put a pause on this janky team and whatever they think they're going to be doing with five and any trilogy plans. Because, again, I am not up for a trilogy centered on the creeper possessing people and anything else related to Lane or Chase. I'm honestly not. I want this team far away from it. If Myriad Pictures takes a while to get five going, that's fine. Take as long as you want. The issue isn't recasting Jonathan Brecker or anything like that, really, at the end of the day. The most major issue after watching the movie was the filmmaking. You need a competent filmmaker. So just to jump on into Hellraiser, the Hulu Hellraiser film has released the official trailer along with a poster for the film as well. The trailer did look very promising and didn't show too much, but just enough to get you intrigued. And I and I did see some wonderful glimpses, I would say, of Jamie as Pinhead because uh, she, she just looks amazing as Pinhead. I, of course, I still prefer the original so far, but I don't mind this design. Saw some wonderful glimpses of her shots of the configuration box causing chaos with those who interact with it. Jamie's voice, I 
think I saw was a problem for some people, but that's fine. I, I didn't mind it myself. A lot of the trailer makes me believe this film will rely heavily on building an atmosphere that just keeps you on the edge. And I really love when movies do that. Since this gave us a more clear look at Jamie's pinhead design, again, I'm still going to say I'm digging it. It is so funny, though, like how, again, when you have a competent filmmaker, when they can come together and, re and revive an IP correctly. Isn't that so funny how that seems to happen under competent filmmakers? It's a shame so that such other franchises cannot do that. So I look forward to seeing this and reviewing it on the channel. Now, Hellraiser, we know, is following a young woman struggling with addiction who comes into possession of an ancient puzzle box, unaware that, it, that its purpose is to summon the Cenobites, a group of sadistic supernatural beings from another dimension. So... I'll have a review when I see it up on the channel later this month or early next month. Just to jump into Chucky Season 2, the episode titles for Chucky Season 2 have been reviewed, have been revealed, I meant to say. So apparently, they are going to be Halloween 2. So another episode set on Halloween night, of course. The Sinners are much more fun. Then you have Hail Mary, Death on Denial, Doll on Doll, He is Risen Indeed, Going to the Chapel, and then the season finale, Chucky Actually. Now, I'll find out very soon if these are real because I'm supposed to start watching this season later this week and I'll have a review of sorts up on the 26th when they have told us that's when they would like us to review it. But I want to talk about something else with Don Mancini. He made some very interesting comments recently to Collider about sending Chucky to space and just genre hopping the killer doll around in the future like a zombie Chucky or something. Something like Chucky stumbling onto a zombie apocalypse or a vampire even. And while I can respect, you know, the idea Ideas of keeping Chucky around because Chucky is one of the most consistent IPs from the horror genre of the last 30 years. I'd rather we just keep it as ridiculous and stable as it is now. Space is a horror fan's worst nightmare, <laughs> I'll say. For Well, for some of us, myself included anyway. And I'll leave a link to that interview in the description for y'all to read. I don't want Chucky in space. I don't really think the idea of Chucky interacting with zombies and vampires sounds all that great either. I don't want any of that. I'd rather you actually end the series if you're thinking about doing something like that. Uh, let's leave it how it is. The wackiness is fine, but let's not get overboard. That's just my two cents there. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.